New year, new me, new environment, am I right? Nah, I'm just playing. I'm at work right now. <laughs> no excuses, baby. What I wanted to bring to your attention today is the fact that there has been a lot of people blowing up. There's been a lot of people quitting YouTube, and on top of that, there's been a lot of people that have been joining onto YouTube. I'm sure you've been seeing a lot of the people that have been veterans around the YouTube space quitting lately. And on top of that, there's been a whole new wave of people that have been joining the platform as a 2024 resolution of a new year, new me mindset, you know? And I think that's a really good thing. There's going to be a lot of people out here that are going to be dead set on the mentality that the market is too saturated, there's too many people joining the platform, and there's not going to be enough eyes on everyone looking around. But here's where I disagree with that, with that statement. The fact is that you're watching me right now. I have less than 100 subscribers at the time of this recording. So if you find this in its organic first 24 hours, then props to you. But also it shows that there's more than plenty of watch time and people wanting entertainment as they work, as they drive, at whatever they're doing, all right? And like, you can't make excuses when it comes to this stuff. I'm literally just me, you, my phone. I don't have a microphone, I don't have a camera. I'm just here at work recording. And this is gonna be a very important lesson for a lot of new YouTubers out there, myself included. So I'm kind of like teaching myself this while teaching you this. The reality is that you can't be slacking when it comes to making videos or content or whatever platform that you're gonna use. The reason for this is because a lot of the new YouTubers that are popping up are releasing daily, twice daily videos. They are absolutely going insane with videos. And their content isn't bad or anything. It's, you know, content that you can just listen to. But the reality is that they are making content. I haven't been making content. I've been making excuses for myself about the fact that I'm a father now. I've got more responsibilities and I don't have time. And I even have my journal right here. I have my laptop that I use for researching video topics while I'm here. And I also have my handy dandy little water soaked notebook that I take all of my video scripts in. And normally I would be happy with that, but I realized something while actually doing research today for another one of my videos that I'll be releasing next week. The fact is, is that I need to create more content. You need to watch more content. So why don't you go ahead and give my channel a subscription? <laughs> it's going to become very competitive in the upcoming years. There's going to be nine times out of 10, a YouTuber that starts up, but doesn't make it past 100 or 200 subscribers. And then they stop, they quit, they hang up the towel. You don't want to do that. The thing that I've come to realize is that the very first few seconds of your video where you hook the audience in are super imperative. This lesson cannot go unnoticed. What matters is your energy and the direction that you pull your audience in in the first few seconds of your video. Obviously, like titles and thumbnails and everything matter, but they need to be synergistic with each other. And for most people, they just introduce the video with like, hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna be talking about this and this, and you're gonna sit and by the time you already get done with your introduction, people have already clicked off. People have already lost interest. You can see this in any one of your videos. If you have any videos on YouTube right now, you can go to your YouTube analytics. And if you have any videos where you just introduce yourself by saying, hi, welcome back, go to your analytics. Watch the drop off fall to like 33% in the first 30 seconds. That's 67% of people that have not watched your content and potentially new people, almost always new people when you're starting out, but these people, two thirds of your audience is clicking off and more than likely they're not gonna click on another one of your videos in the future. Every video matters. Every single impression that you get matters because most people when they get a first impression of you and it's dull and it's boring and it's not inspirational, they're not gonna click on you again. It's a fact of reality about being on this space. So that is why it's so important that you have to remain competitive. You have to be drawing people in. You have to be screaming for your audience to be able to take action. You know, with the whole, give me a like and a subscribe and a comment, tee hee. I find that cringe. I'm not gonna like ask you to do that every single video. I will kind of plug a sub here and there, but for the most part, I'm just kind of rambling on this video because I just had this burst of inspiration to just sit here and make this video. Summing everything up though, 
bro, you need to get out here. You need to start making videos, content, posts. You need to be doing whatever you can to be creating an audience because people ain't gonna wait and the audience that you do draw in, they're gonna be expecting something good within the first 30 seconds. So if you don't hook people within the first couple of seconds, they're gone, probably forever. And they're not gonna look back, they don't care. You're not special until you become and make yourself special. So you have to make sure that you find your creative niche in this YouTube space. Anyways, I'll see you around. Take care.